Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. I want to talk today about the ZMR250 Mini Quad and something that I've noticed on eBay. Now, everyone's familiar with the ZMR frame. There it is, you know, carbon fiber. I don't like the arm design. They're pretty weak. I've broken some more of them, damn it. Um, but it's, it's quite light. Let's actually turn the scales on. And I have to thank the viewer that sent me these scales. They're brilliant. They're just so nice. They just keep working, whereas the other ones were really a lottery. Let's put this on here and see what that frame comes out to. That is 141, 140, 140.5 grams for the full frame, all built up apart from the electrics. It's just the frame components. 100, let's say 140 grams. Now, I've got another frame here. Still in the bag, the bag doesn't weigh much, so I'm not going to bother about that. Here we go. How much is that frame? Woo, that's 172 grams. Let's say 170 grams because obviously we've got uh, the, the packing to consider. Okay, why is this frame so much heavier? And um, this was, by the way, this was $18 on eBay. Advertised as a carbon frame, ZMR250, $18. And I thought, Ooh, that sounds a bit cheap for a carbon frame, but sometimes you get a good deal. So I was expecting pretty much what I got with this frame. Let's take a closer look at it and see why it's an $18 frame and why it's so damn heavy. Okay, what you can see in front of you there is a carbon arm. It's one of the, the arms from a ZMR250, the carbon version, the original. Excuse the little rattling while I get something out of a bag. Um, so that's a carbon arm. You can see the quite coarse weave twill there. You can see it's black on the edge. And this one's actually broken because, as I said, these arms are, have a design flaw. That stress riser there, they just break too easily. Um, here is the arm out of that new kit. Now look at that. It's black. It's black, but my goodness, it's nothing like the carbon arm. This, as I say, this was advertised as a carbon mini quad, but it's not. It's fiberglass. It's a fiberglass mini quad advertised on eBay as carbon fiber and selling for $18 US, including shipping. Um, this is just a piece of crap, to be honest. Um, if you're looking for a carbon mini quad, buy a carbon mini quad. Given how easily these arms here have broken in the past, with carbon, the fiberglass version is just going to be too weak to even consider. Uh, so it's 18 bucks of money down the gurgler, whereas a carbon frame, at least for your $30 or so, you're getting something that's a little bit more robust. But you might say, well, how do you know that's fiberglass? Yeah, sure. If we look at it edge on, you can see that the carbon is black and the fiberglass is a very light shade of grey. But remember I've mentioned in a previous video that carbon conducts electricity and fiberglass doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my multimeter to check and see, make sure which is carbon and which is fiberglass. Right, so here's our multimeter set to the ohms range and here are our two arms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure, I'm going to put the probes on the edge here like so and measure the resistance along the entire length of the arm. So I want you to watch the multimeter when I do that. Even though this one's broken, it should still give us a fairly good reading. Okay, now this is saying, if you look at that, that's 7 ohms, 8 ohms, something like that, 9 ohms, just depends, I'm getting old and weak. Push it on again. So we've got a, a, we've got a me reading that is measured in ohms. There's only ohms visible there. And because it's broken, some of the fibres will actually be a little bit... Uh, less conductive. There we go. So 12 ohms. Yeah, it's, it's in the tens of ohms, if that. That's the carbon one. Let's take this other one, this black one that was sold as carbon. And let's put the multimeter on that and see what we get. Nothing. There's no conductivity at all because fiberglass is an insulator. Glass is an insulator. So yeah, this is actually just fiberglass. It's not carbon at all. Maybe this is a carbon layer on the top, you might think, but obviously it doesn't have twill. It actually looks like they've just used a black resin with fiberglass to make it look a bit carbon fibery. Let's put the meter probes in here. Nope, nothing. Even this black layer is just fiberglass. There's no carbon on it. Try that with this one and we should get some, if I push in hard enough and get through, there we go. Now to break through the epoxy resin, we've got half an ohm or half a K ohm, 500 ohms. But on here, no matter how hard I push, we're not getting any reading at all. So there you go. If you see one of these frames on eBay advertised as carbon fiber or another one they call glassy carbon, um, it's not. It's, it's a ripoff. It's just fiberglass. It's just fiberglass. And as such, these arm, if, if you can break that arm by having a little bit of a whoopsie, you know, if you can do that to a carbon arm with a bit of a whoopsie, fiberglass, yeah, you might as well just throw it in the bin without even building it. There you go. Um, just trying to show you what's crap and what's not on RC Model Reviews. If you've got some questions about this video or the arms or anything else, put them in the description or below, in the area below the description. I'll do my best to answer them and address each point that you raise. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I will now get back to 
the bench. Bye for now.